Hey everyone, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and today we've got something a little bit different. Uh, I actually bought this before starting the channel so I've had this for a couple of years and never got around to getting it out of the box of course. Um, this one is a little bit of sun fire. I actually bought this from someone in America a couple of years ago and they uh, shipped it over to me and as you can see it was sitting in someone's uh, shelf or something like that. It did get a bit of sun damage as you can see the difference between the greens and then this faded, faded colour there. But it is unopened from the looks of it and still sealed and, and not used. So hopefully it's not going to be uh, damaged inside or anything for its time sitting in storage. But uh, we won't know until we get this uh, box open, of course. So this is Ultimate Soldier. It's from the 21st Century Toys. Obviously you can't get these anymore. And uh, this is still in the normal box that they do come in. And you can see the different offerings. But um, I reckon this will look fantastic, but uh, we do have to get this out of the box. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll quickly open this up and uh, get our hands on this M16 half track and have a real good look at it. Hopefully it's going to look awesome, but we won't know until we open this up. All right, guys, let's open this up and check it out. All right, we are back. We've got this M16 half track out of the box. It does come on a uh, base here. It is held on there by two screws, which I've already taken off. There was a little bit of wire around the 50 cal here, the turret that was holding that in place. I did take that off as well. And it does come with a uh, set of instructions, 21st century toys. And it's from, well, 2006. So this is nearly 20 years old. And um, it's, it looks in pretty good condition, although uh, buying secondhand, of course, you do have the issue of mine did have a broken base when I took it out of the box. But we will just uh, take this off the base like so, and that is the base that does come with it. Yours, if you do find one, will hopefully be all together, as you can see one of the screws there. We'll move that out of the way and move this half track back into our vision. And now to the good parts. It does come with some accessories. So it does come with a, a little baggie with a, um, I think these are anti-tank mines that you put in the uh, side of the uh, half track. And it does have some racks here for the for the back to, to put the stowage items on. And of course, for the back there, there is some stowage items that you'll be putting on those racks as well. That is pretty cool. There is also two uh, stowage items that will be going on the front fenders of, of the vehicle, of course, which you need to put on. A couple of little jerry cans that we need to put on as well. They will go along the sides there. We'll just whack those on. And of course, this front little winch here that we need to put on the uh, front of the vehicle, of course. And it does that does move around and everything. So if you like to <laughs> move things on your, on your little models, uh, you can. And what we'll do is we will assemble uh, this half track and uh, come right back and have a look at it all assembled. And then we can really go to town and have a real good look at it. All right, here we have this half track all set up. Very straightforward. You put all your pieces on and put a little wheels in there, a little stowage on the back, and this does set up quite nice. We will have a little close look at how this looks. It does set up very nicely. Uh, this is, I suppose, our first uh, one eighth scale military vehicle review. I do have a couple. I've got a Tiger tank that I've had for years just sitting in the packet still. Um, I've got a, a German half track as well. Um, but that's not in a box. I bought that just loose from someone in America uh, a while, about a, two years ago. It's got some, uh, this this vehicle though, like it does have some great detail. I think when these were released, these were more sort of a semi-toy rather than a uh, collectible item that they are sort of more now because they are hard to find. As I said, these are near 20 years old, so these type of things are pretty hard to find now and especially being plastic and if they were you know they were predominantly sold I suppose cheaper toys um, most of them that were bought were probably trashed so <laughs> but it does have a lot of opening and moving features so the guns themselves they move up and down the the turret does does move from side to side if you want to move move that around the little doors here they open so you can uh, you know have some really good uh, access to the inside of the vehicle which is pretty cool and and this even folds down so the armor of that door does fold down so you can have it in the different positions and which is really cool even the uh the front here does does open up to reveal the actual screen as well if you want to have the uh vehicle driving with the screen open which is absolutely awesome rather than the armored and the actual these <laughs> armored vision ports do open up as well so that is really nice and of course these do move around to hold it up if you uh, have it in a certain position both doors as you can see do open and they do have that option to fold right down 
if you want to do that as well the actual engine compartments do open up and does reveal some awesome engine detail and uh, how they sold these as toys is quite amazing because this has got a whole heap of detail these are quite well done and uh, I reckon these are absolutely excellent and with the amount of detail on them it's they're worth grabbing even though they're not die cast um, I think these come up really good and they do present really well it does have a little bit of weathering on there as well as you can see it's got that light sort of dust over it um, sprayed on there and even uh, some details on the stowage items it does have a little bit of uh, sort of weathering and highlighting and there's the, the little wheels that you do put in there and it does have some track details and this does move so you can r drive this around if you feel like it well the wheels do move very freely of course um, I don't think they steer let's have a little look no the, it does not steer at all which is um, no look doesn't doesn't bother me but if uh, you're looking at getting one yourself and that does annoy you then unfortunately it does not steer the back door here does open as well to give you access inside the back of the vehicle this this is quite quite detailed for for I, I suppose what it was sold as and uh, I reckon it does come up fantastic it's got some really nice 50 cal details there that is awesome and as I said, it does move nicely. Um, if you do have a one eighth soldier, you can just chuck him in there. You can get uh, soldiers uh, for these as well. If you so uh, want to display yours with a complement of troops or drivers, you should be able to uh, find some, hopefully, on the interwebs. We'll have a little look on the passenger side there. That does look pretty cool. does have some fantastic detail. We'll close that up. I think, does this side open as well? We'll have a little look. I'm not sure. Oh, yep, it does. So you can open both sides, have access to both sides of the engine, which is pretty cool. That's some really nice detail. It's got some highlighting on the engine. That is really good. Close that up. I suppose what we'll do is we'll uh, have a look under the vehicle. So hopefully none of those uh, mines will drop out. We'll see if we can uh, have a little look underneath without too much dropping out. Let's see what skill we have. Oh, there, there, there they go. But it does have some really nice detail under there as well. As you can see, 21st century there. But it's got some great axle detail, some exhaust detail. And there's the transmission. That does look really cool. As I said, if you're into uh, one eighth scale stuff and you want some military vehicles, these are definitely the way to go. And these tracks are nice and soft too, so they are very pliable. And as I said, if you like to drive drive these around to yourself, uh, you can roll this around, I think, without too much hassle. I suppose we'll give that a little bit of a go. It does, does drive. You've got to put a bit of pressure in, I think, to get this to... Uh, rotate as you can see it does move a little bit but overall wow this is pretty cool i i reckon it does come up very nice all right so uh, what i'll do is I'll, I'll wind up this video of course so once again this is by 21st century it is 118th scale it is a hard uh, high quality plastic and these are absolutely well detailed and it is the american uh, world war ii half track the uh, m16 which was with that turret with the uh, quad 50 cals on it. And I reckon this does come up fantastically. It does look awesome and will look fantastic on your shelf if you do manage to get one. So if you do like what you see here, don't forget to throw us one of those. And of course, if you want one yourself, you've got to hunt on the interwebs for these because these are no longer available. So uh, happy hunting if you do decide to uh, pull a trigger and look for one of these. And once again, thank you very much for uh, spending your valuable time and checking out another one of our videos. I hope you did enjoy the content we had today. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so as well. I will take some photos of this awesome looking half track here and chuck them on at the end of the video. And you can uh, check this out, but not break it. <laughs> without my fat ass fingers all over it of course all right guys thank you so much as i said for uh spending your time watching today i always do appreciate it all right you all have a fantastic rest of your day cheers everyone <laughs>